Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to go over some of the best builds that you can potentially put together in your game ahead of the brand new 7 Star Terror Raid event for Eevee, which will be happening later this week. So announced off the back of the Hisuian Typhlosion 7 Star Terror Raid event, Eevee will be the next 7 Star Terror Raid in our games and happening later this week. The event itself will be running from the 17th to the 20th of November, for this weekend in celebration of Eevee Day. Of course, Eevee, unlike some of the other seven star terrorids that we've had recently and Scarlet and Violet, probably not going to be as challenging as those, but it's definitely something not to underestimate going into this weekend's raid. We're going to start off by taking a quick overview of some of the options that Eevee potentially will have and what the expected set might be going into this weekend's raid. So kicking us off, we'll start with all the information that we do know about Eevee. It will be level 100. It will have that normal terror typing and it's likely going to have its hidden ability like all of its other seven star raid counterparts in anticipation probably going to have a held item if we refer back to the pikachu seven star terror raid that was one of the raids that did have a held item that one mewtwo and it's likely eevee will have a held item going into this raid i'm kind of earmarking the eviolite as its held item but it could be anything going into this raid but the eviolite makes more sense it gives that 50 percent boost to its defensive stats making it a bit more difficult to take down. Base speed is going to be 55, so a pretty slow Pokemon in general. And normally we see with the 7 star Terrors, they have around a 30 times multiplier to their HP. But again, if we refer back to that 7 star Pikachu raid, that had a 50 times multiplier to its HP. And it probably will be the same for this Eevee. So we're looking at around 8,100 for that HP stat that we're going to have to do in damage. Now, a lot like the Pikachu raid as well, I expect the Eevee raid to have its shield up from the beginning of the raid. So it will make it very difficult to take down. And it means it is immune to any of those kind of stat lowering attacks like Screech, Metal Sound or anything along those lines. The shield will block those. So you're going to have to rely on moves like Acid Spray that can hit through the shield and still affect the Eevee. Now looking through all the options of attacks that Eevee does get access to, it doesn't really get many options. Now Last Resort is the strongest attack. It is a normal type attack as well. Base 140. The only caveat is with Last Resort is... It can't use this attack until it's used all of its other options available and then once it's done that it can fire that attack off it is a physical type attack so it can hit for very big damage don't underestimate this moves in the slightest it does get access to hyper voice as well another move that it can take advantage of with that normal terrestrialization and it does get shadow ball which i do feel it probably will have to kind of compensate for that ghost immunity that it does have with the last resort and the hyper voice otherwise it would be completely useless against any other ghost types so to kind of make up that coverage i do feel like shadow ball will be an option on this eevee meaning it might make life a little bit more tricky for things like annihilate that we'll get into a little bit later in this guide stored power is another option that it does get access to so if we see it go down a line of setting up say with something like calm mind that it does get access to that could be something that we do have to watch out for and again give some of the fighting types that we might be inclined to take into this raid a much harder time. Now status options it does get access to, it does get fake tears, that's going to lower your special defense by two stages every time it uses it. It gets tickle as well which lowers the attack and defense at the same time by one stage. Charm is another option that it does get where it can lower your attack stat by two stages. Yawn is something that I feel like we're likely to see where it can fire off. And it is a two turn move, but it will put you to sleep after the end of the second turn from using it. And Wish is something that I've just thrown on there, which could be a little bit problematic, which is again, another two turn move, but would give it a line of recovery throughout the raid, making it just a little bit more difficult to take down. But all in all, these are probably the most likely options we're to see on the EV. I'd imagine we will see Last Resort and Hyper Voice. I'm not that confident that we will see, but it's definitely something to consider going into this weekend's raid. And obviously it goes without saying, just to be aware that we don't know exactly how this EV is going to line up with its moves, with its item choice, or how it's going to interact in the raid exactly until the raid goes live. So these are just some suggestions for you if you want to put things together in your game. But as always, it might be worth holding off until the raid goes live and then put something together. Of course, we'll be streaming it live, so we'll be figuring out the best solo builds at the time. 
as well as that we'll put up a video after that after doing that initial testing period with the best solo pokemon to go in this weekend farm it for those high cost items and easily beat the eevee just a little precursor before we go into the builds today but going to start off with a build I really like and it is going to be Koma or Koma or going to be a fighting and dragon type Pokemon it will have the fighting terror type shell bell is the held item level 100 and it will be hyper trained as well of course goes without saying all the builds that we feature in today's video will be down in the description below so if you want to take a closer look at those after the video be my guest and hopefully they'll help out so the Koma or like I say level 100 hyper trained shell bell the held item and the moveset we're going for on the Koma or is pretty simplistic it's just going to be Sleep Talk, Iron Defense, and Body Press here. It's probably worth PP maxing the Body Press as well, just as a side note, uh, with an EV spread of 252 in HP, 252 in Defense, and the rest put in Special Defense. And the big important thing here for me is, if that EV has got Hyper Voice, is the Ability Soundproof. That's going to give you complete immunity to the Hyper Voice. So you're not going to be hit by that throughout the raid as long as the EV is using that move and it will have to revert to using something like Shadow Ball, which you're really not going to be concerned about at all because Comet Or has pretty good base stats anyway. And obviously with that high defense stat that it's already got naturally, it's going to really be able to take advantage of that body press, especially after Trastalizing in this raid. Basic premise is going to be going for that iron defense turn one and then just spamming a body press after that till you can get Trastalized and then you're going to be able to do significant damage to that EV. Sleep Talk is there as a kind of way out if you do get yawned so you don't have to really have to worry about going for those heal chairs to kind of recover the sleep turns you can just use that and you're going to have a 50% chance to use the body press or the iron defense both are going to help you out in the raid anyway and with the shell bell as long as you're doing damage to the EV throughout the raid then you're going to have a line of recovery so you don't really need to worry about the big attacks coming out like the last resort after an iron defense you're not really going to be taking too much damage from that and like I say, with the soundproof ability, you're not going to be taking any damage at all from the Hyper Voice. So even if it does go for the fake tears into, it has to rely on the Shadow Ball to be able to do any damage. And that isn't really going to be an effective way for the Eevee to take advantage of the terrestrialization that it's got or that normal stab boost that it does have in general. And of course, I didn't mention it does have an Impus Nature as well, just to further boost that defense stat to give that body press a big advantage. And the one thing about the Eevee is it does have access to Charm as well, so it can go for that. It can go for Baby Doll Eyes as well, something that we didn't mention, both lowering your attack stat throughout the raid. And you're not going to care about that because body press is predominantly relying on that defense stat so as long as your defense stat is in a good healthy position you're going to be doing good damage and like i say it's the race to terrestrializing at the start of the battle and once you terrestrialize that's when you're going to be able to do that big impactful damage but all in all i feel like coma or a very solid option going into this raid next suggestion is going to be galarian zapdos fighting and flying type pokemon terrestrialization type is going to be fighting going to have the shell bell item again for a line of recovery throughout the raid level 100 and hyper trained and ev spread on the zapdos a little bit more refined than usual we've got 252 in the hp stat we've got 24 in attack You've got 184 in defense and then 48 in special defense with an adamant nature. The ability is defiant. The moveset is bulk up, light screen, knockoff, and thunderous kick. Thunderous kick is a really good one in this raid because it's going to be lowering that defense stat on the EV every time you use it, even through the screen. So it's really snowballing your damage throughout the raid when you're not even boosting your own attack. Knockoff is brilliant because it is, if we see the Eviolite item on that EV, going to mean you can use that turn one remove that if your light it's going to mean its defenses aren't as bulky as they were before light screen gives you a little bit of assurance against that hyper voice especially if we do see that combination with fake tears and bulk ups just a move there that you have if you want to boost your own stats up through the battle but you can interchange that for something like sleep talk if that is a threat with that yawn on the EV. but there's some options there for the zapdos and if we jump over to the damage calculator i'll explain a little bit more about the ev spread in particular but if you see with the light screen up you're going to be taking even at minus four so if it's used two fake tears on you with the light screen up hyper voice is going to be a three hit kill on you 
last resort is always going to be a three hit KO on you so this zap does pretty matches it pretty well against the ev just going off these damage calculations here but that is a zapdos like i say the build will be down in the description below and definitely something i'll be trying this weekend when the ev raid goes live the next build we are featuring is going to be lorantis and for a good reason because if we do expect the ev to have a lot of these status condition moves where they're lowering our attacks we can really take advantage of that through Lorantis, especially if we see fake tears, if you see baby doll eyes, if you see charm, they're all things that Lorantis is going to really enjoy seeing. So we've got the Shell Bell as the Held Eye, and we've got the Fighting Terror type on here, level 100, hyper trained as usual, with a moveset of Sleep Talk, Knock Off, Brick Break, and Superpower. We've got the Ability Contrary, which is the big important key part of this Lorantis build. EV spread is going to be pretty straightforward for this one. 252 in HP and 252 in attack. The rest put in special defense with an adamant nature. Now, basically, any time that the EV goes for potentially a fake tears here, instead of lowering your special defense by two stages, it's going to boost your special defense by two stages, making you able to take those attacks so much easier. Again, if you see the charm or the tickle come out, where it's lowering your attack, it's going to actually boost your attack. So it's flipping all of those status conditions back on itself. You kind of pair that up with the knockoff to get rid of any item that the Eevee's holding, especially that Eevee Oli, a bit like the Galarian Zapdos. And then you just spam superpower uh, for the rest of the battle. Make sure you do PP that out though, because it's a low PP move. Um, but every time you use that, you will be boosting your defense and your attacking stat, meaning that you're going to be able to get that kind of momentum swing with this build on top of any boost that the Eevee gives you from spamming things like those status condition moves that we were talking about before. Sleep talk is a bit of security in case you do see yawn, so it's a way around that, so you don't need to waste turns on those heal chairs. But all in all, I think Lorantis could be quite an interesting one going into this raid this weekend. And I do feel like that contrary ability will give it a bit of an edge, but we'll see when we go into the testing phase. Next up, going along the same lines, if we do see a lot of usage from those fake tears those charms those baby doll eye moves from the eevee to kind of get its momentum shift going covenite is a great pokemon to take advantage of in this raid as well we've got the fighting terror type on this one shell bell is the held item all the usual level 100 move set for the covenite is going to be sleep talk iron defense and body press i don't feel like you need anything else there for the covenite for this particular raid uh ev spread is going to be 252 hp 252 defense with an impish nature and the main important thing for the Covenant is to have that hidden ability mirror armor. So anytime that the Eevee does try to reduce your attack or your defense or your special defense with any of those kind of status moves that we've been talking about, I'll be bounced back onto the Eevee. It will be lowering its stats instead of ours. So that's a really big bonus for us with the Covenant. The other thing with Covenant that it does have in its arsenal is that it is part steel typing. So any of those normal type attacks will not be very effective, meaning you're going to be able to soak them up pretty well sleep talk of course gives us that option if the yawn is there from the eevee so we can just use that if we are put to sleep iron defense is there to boost our defense by two stages every time we use it it also strengthens the attack of body press as well which would be a main attacking option but again a bit like the coma or we're just going to race to the point where we can terrestrialize with corvanite as soon as we can do that we should be able to do some pretty sizable damage to the eevee Especially if you combine that with the iron defense as well to further boost that defensive stat and maximize your damage. So Covenant, I do feel like a very good option going into this raid. And of course, everyone is going to have one of the next two Pokemon, very common Pokemon. And I do think they could probably play a decent role going into this raid. The first one we're going to mention is Annihilate. We've got the Metronome item as its held item. Fighting Terror type on there, level 100, hyper trained, of course, with the moveset Sleep Talk, Bulk Up and Drain Punch defined is the ability on this annihilate and we've got an ev spread of 252 in hp 252 in special defense and then the rest in attack with an adamant nature and the reason for so much special defense investment in this annihilate if we jump over to the damage calculator here i'll show you just an example of this investment in action so the shadow ball from the ev even at minus six so if it's used three fake tiers putting you down to minus six that will in turn of course boost your attack stat to plus six the Shadow Ball still will not be doing enough damage to knock you out in one hit. So you're going to be able to kind of stay on the field, take that Shadow Ball and then return with the Drain Punch. And if you do Terrastalize as well, even with the Eviolite intact, you're still doing a very significant amount of damage with the Annihilate. 
but that special defense stat especially after you do trust lies you're then taking damage from things like hyper voice and the last resort so you're still going to be able to take those attacks pretty comfortably uh, with that investment and that was pretty much the main reason to have the ev set up like they were just so that you know can go toe to toe with the ev throughout the raid and i do think it's quite important obviously the metronome for the most part is going to be there to take advantage of the drain punch that you will be spamming most of the time that's going to be predominantly the thing there that you'll be doing um, and the sleep talk there just gives you a little bit of security in case we do again see that yawn and the last pokemon that we're going to feature today is going to be another one a lot of you have and it is going to be iron hands with that fighting terror type going to be level 100 hyper trained as always but holding that clear amulet item now if that eevee decides to go for fake tears baby doll eyes tickle or charm it's not going to be able to lower your stats on your side of the field because of the clear amulet meaning that you're not going to be as susceptible to those big attacks that are coming out from the eevee and you're still going to be able to kind of keep your damage output no matter what the eevee tries to do with the clear amulet intact of course so this is the main reason why to use iron hands i think it's probably one of the better item choices on it going into this raid depending on what we see the eevee line up with of course but the moveset we're going to go with is going to be electric terrain that's important because if you get the electric terrain up it's not only going to boost your quark drive ability or activate that ability to give you an attack boost anyway it's going to give you immunity to yawn so you can't be put to sleep as long as the electric terrain is on the field freeing up a little bit of space for the iron hands to function throughout the raid we've got the iron defense that gives you a little bit more stability against that last resort that could be quite threatening and then belly drum as well so if you're in a position after you're terrestrializing to get that belly drum off maximize your attack stat and then utilize that drain punch which is going to give you that recovery it's probably all in all a very solid set against anything that really can come out from this ev this weekend ev spread is going to be 252 in hp 204 in attack with an adamant nature 44 evs in speed and that means you're going to be able to outspeed the ev by one point meaning that most of the time you should be going before it can move so that's going to be a big advantage, especially for using things like the electric train or the iron defense or even the belly drum in certain situations. And then four in special defense and four in defense. So that is the iron hands build in all. And it's something that I think will be pretty solid going into this weekend, especially because a lot of you already have the iron hands. You already have the annihilate. If you don't want to build anything else, these two will probably be able to go into the EV raid this weekend and do a quite effective job. But I think the most favorite ones that I've got going into this weekend, probably Coma or and that Lorantis. I do really want to try both of those out and see which one can speed through these raids as fast as possible. I have a feeling that the Lorantis might be, if it performs as we expect on paper, uh, be the fastest out of all of them. But of course, Pokemon Battles aren't played on paper. They're played in game. So we'll have to wait till the event goes live later this week to find out. But I hope you found today's video useful. If you have, let me know down in the comment section which build you like the best and which builds, if you've got your own, you're planning to take into this EV raid this weekend. I hope you found it useful, friends. Do drop a like if you have. Make sure you do hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with all of our Pokemon Scarlet and Violet content. And I will see you all in another video very soon. Thanks for taking the time to come by today. Take care of yourselves. And until next time, bye-bye.